What is cystic acne? Cystic acne is a severe form of acne that occurs when hair follicles become clogged with oil and dead skin cells. This type of acne is characterized by large, painful bumps that can be red and inflamed. It is most commonly found on the face, chest, and back, and can be difficult to treat without medical intervention. Unlike other forms of acne, such as blackheads or whiteheads, cystic acne is deeply rooted in the skin and can cause scarring if left untreated. It is often caused by hormonal imbalances, genetics, and lifestyle factors such as stress and diet. Causes of Cystic Acne Cystic acne is caused by a combination of factors, including genetics, hormones, and lifestyle choices. While some people may be more prone to developing cystic acne due to their genetic makeup, hormonal imbalances, and lifestyle choices can also play a role. For example, high levels of stress can trigger hormonal changes in the body that lead to the development of cystic acne. Similarly, consuming a diet high in processed foods and sugar can also contribute to the development of acne. On the other hand, maintaining a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent the onset of cystic acne. Symptoms of Cystic Acne Cystic acne is a severe form of acne that occurs when hair follicles become clogged with oil and dead skin cells. Unlike other types of acne, cystic acne forms deep beneath the skin surface, resulting in large, painful bumps that can last for weeks or even months. These bumps are typically red or pink in color and may be filled with pus. They can also be tender to the touch and may cause scarring if not treated properly. In addition to these physical symptoms, cystic acne can also have a significant impact on a person's mental health, leading to feelings of anxiety, depression, and social isolation. Treatment Options for Cystic Acne Topical medications are a common treatment option for cystic acne. These medications are applied directly to the skin and can include ingredients such as benzoyl peroxide, retinoids, and antibiotics. Pros of using topical medications include their effectiveness in reducing inflammation and preventing new breakouts. However, they can also cause dryness, peeling, and irritation of the skin. Oral medications may also be prescribed for more severe cases of cystic acne. These medications can include antibiotics, hormonal treatments, and isotretinoin. Pros of using oral medications include their ability to target acne from within the body and reduce the severity of breakouts. However, they can also have side effects such as nausea, dizziness, and increased sensitivity to the sun. Preventing Cystic Acne One of the most effective ways to prevent cystic acne is by following a consistent skincare routine. This includes washing your face twice a day with a gentle cleanser, using non-comedogenic moisturizers, and avoiding harsh scrubs or exfoliants that can irritate the skin. Another important factor in preventing cystic acne is maintaining a healthy diet. Eating foods rich in antioxidants, such as fruits and vegetables, can help reduce inflammation in the body and promote clear skin. Additionally, avoiding sugary or greasy foods can also help prevent breakouts. Finally, managing stress levels is crucial in preventing cystic acne. Stress can disrupt hormone levels in the body, leading to increased oil production and breakouts. Incorporating stress-reducing activities into your daily routine, such as yoga or meditation, can help keep your skin clear and healthy. Conclusion In conclusion, cystic acne is a severe form of acne that can have a significant impact on one's physical and emotional well-being. It is important to understand the causes and symptoms of cystic acne in order to seek appropriate treatment. While there are various treatment options available, it is essential to consult with a dermatologist or healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for your individual needs.
Additionally, taking preventative measures such as maintaining a healthy skincare routine, avoiding certain foods, and managing stress can help reduce the likelihood of developing cystic acne. Remember, seeking professional medical advice is crucial for effectively managing cystic acne and improving overall skin health. If you or someone you know is struggling with cystic acne, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Acne shows up for many teenagers and can linger for several years into adulthood. The good news is that doctors have a few more tricks for treating it than when the parents of today's teens were young. Learn more about what causes acne, treatments, what is acne, what causes acne. Acne includes pimples, whiteheads or partialers, blackheads, and cysts. It occurs within tiny pores associated with hair follicles on the face, chest, and back that become irritated or inflamed. Tiny oil glands around these follicles are stimulated by hormonal changes during puberty to produce oily sebum. In acne, the follicle's opening gets blocked, preventing the oil from escaping normally. The blocked pore is commonly called a whitehead. Blackheads occur when whiteheads are exposed to air. Sometimes bacteria multiply within the plug pores, causing tender, red pimples. If the pore also becomes filled with pus and fluid, that causes painful cysts. At what age is acne most common? Those who don't develop acne as a teenager are a lucky minority. An estimated 85 of teens get acne, usually starting at age 11 for girls and a couple of years later for boys. Acne can last through the teen years and into the early 20s. Some older adults may continue to be bothered by it. Many women note that it worsens just before menstruation and disappears during pregnancy. However, this close relationship with the menstrual cycle may be caused by hormonal acne. Hormonal acne is mostly associated with painful cysts along the jawline and chin area rather than the typical oily areas of the face like the forehead, nose, and cheeks. In general, hormonal acne does not respond well to traditional medications used for teenage acne. Instead, it requires medications that block the effects of hormones in the skin. How can I clear up my acne? We don'ts our parents handed down to us about treating acne still apply. Don't pick at, squeeze, or roughly scrub pimples. Fortunately, most foods do not cause acne, including chocolate. Also, no special diet has been found helpful in controlling acne. However, studies suggest dairy may cause acne to worsen in some patients. Simple treatment of acne involves keeping the skin clean, which helps shed old skin. Other helpful tips to prevent acne include the following. Wash your face daily with warm water and mild soap. Keep hair clean and free of oily pomades to avoid acne around the scalp. It's helpful to use over-the-counter medications that contain benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid once or twice daily. This promotes skin shedding and is mildly antibacterial. Girls should be careful about which types of makeup they use. While lipstick and eye makeup are fine, it's recommended that they use blushes and foundations that say non-comedogenic on the label. All major brands should have these types of products. Avoid using mineral-based makeup powder as these can worsen or even cause acne. People often note that their acne improves in the summer. This is likely because sun exposure increases skin shedding. However, the risk of skin cancer far outweighs the benefits of reducing acne. Always wear sunscreen outdoors and never treat acne with sunbathing or tanning parlors. What are some treatments for severe cases of acne? Consult your primary care doctor or a dermatologist, a physician specializing in skin care if you or your child's acne is severe. This includes the development of cysts or scarring or if acne doesn't improve after two to three months of over-the-counter treatments. They may recommend medications that more strongly promote skin shedding, such as those based on vitamin A, including tretinoin top retin I. Doctors may also prescribe antibiotics, either taken by mouth or applied directly to the skin. Steroid injections can also be helpful for patients who scar severely. For those with acne that leave scars, chemical peels, dermabrasion, and laser techniques can even out the skin after the stage of active acne is over. Isotretinoin, commonly known as acutane, is a highly effective oral medication used for more severe acne.
Physicians often do not prescribe this medication for women who are sexually active unless they are using two reliable birth control methods. This is because the medication can result in birth defects if a woman uses it during pregnancy. Isotretinoin is carefully regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA for this reason, as well as the need to monitor side effects monthly. Many patients who use isotretinoin never have acne again after completing five, six months of treatment. Why should parents help their child with acne treatment? The teenage years are important to forming a positive social identity. A teen's appearance becomes closely linked with his or her self-esteem. With so many good acne treatments available, there's no reason to suffer this problem until it goes away. Parents are encouraged to take acne seriously and treat it. Also, adults who continue to have moderate to severe acne problems should not hesitate to seek professional advice. Thank you for taking the time to learn about cystic acne. For more information and resources, please visit the American Academy of Dermatology website.